Good evening. Uh, Hong Kong's minimum wage is projected to go up to 30 dollars an hour next year. That's uh, Chief Executive in, court, in Council has accepted a proposal by the Minimum Wage Commission for the increase. But as Temley Tian May reports, both business and labour representatives we talked to today are unhappy with the announcement. The statutory minimum wage could now go up from $28 to $30 per hour next year. That's a 7.1% increase. The government announced today that it has accepted the proposed revision made by the Minimum Wage Commission. The time of implementing statutory minimum wage in Hong Kong is still fairly short. And this is also the first time that we revised the wage rate. Various sectors of society, in particular employees and employees, certainly need to take time to adjust to it. More than 220,000 workers could get a pay rise, and businesses are expected to bear an extra cost of $2 billion. The government believes the increase will have little impact on inflation. The Minimum Wage Commission says the new rate was achieved through unanimous consensus after more than a year of talks. But not everyone is happy with today's announcement. A catering sector representative says they couldn't even hire anyone at $28 an hour, let alone $30. On the other hand, Labour Party lawmaker Lee Chuk Yan says $30 isn't even enough for a meal. He says the revised rate can't cover the rise in inflation since the statutory minimum wage was first passed in May last year. Lee calls on the government to review the minimum wage annually. I think the current regime provides for flexibility for the government to consider when the statutory minimum wage should be reviewed. So that's, uh, uh, that is the, the current position. Uh, I think it's probably too early to say whether the, the review should be uh, uh, over a shorter period or longer period. The proposed increase in the minimum wage will be tabled at the Legislative Council meeting next Wednesday. Now, if approved, it could take effect as early as May 1st next year. Tamalee Tianmei, TVB News.